Did you know a highly contagious, potentially fatal disease is silently spreading throughout the world, infecting thousands? This is not from a sci-fi movie. This is real life and it's measles. So what does this mean for you and your family? What can we do about it? How can we fight back? Let's find out. Roald Dahl's eldest daughter was seven when she got measles. He wrote that he wasn't particularly worried about it. He was reading to her in bed when he noticed that her mind and her body didn't seem to be working well together. She said she felt a little bit sleepy and within a few hours she was unconscious and within 12 hours she was dead. So often we think of measles as being just another childhood illness we don't worry too much about, but we do need to take measles seriously. Roald Dahl's daughter died the year before vaccination became possible. And actually since then, measles cases have dropped dramatically. In fact, I, as a working doctor, have never seen measles. Unfortunately, in pockets around the UK and across the world, measles is now rampant again. So let's find out why is it? What do we need to know about measles? What does it look like? How can we recognise it? What can we do about it? So how does measles spread? Well, it spreads through coughing, breathing, sneezing, and unfortunately, it spreads like wildfire. In fact, it's one of the most contagious diseases known to mankind. In fact, when one person has measles, they can potentially spread that to 15 more people on average. The UK Health Security Agency has declared this measles outbreak as a national incident. That's how worried they are. And we saw in 2022, after years of declining cases, an estimated 9 million cases of measles worldwide and an estimated 130,000 deaths. That's mostly young children. And if you think about that, that number seems so huge, but you could fill Wembley Stadium one and a half times over with the amount of children there with getting measles last year alone. Okay, so I've got your attention now. We're worried enough to need to find out a bit more about it, aren't we? So what does measles look like? Well, difficult because it often looks like any other kind of viral illness that we don't worry too much about kids getting. And most doctors haven't really seen much measles. So we're kind of having to make sure we know what to look out for as well. Symptoms typically begin about 10 to 14 days after exposure to the virus, so quite a long time. Symptoms often begin just like any kind of little cold. So you might get cough, sneezing, runny nose, red, sore, runny eyes. And then a few days after that, you tend to get a rash. This can start on the face or behind the ears and then spread to the rest of the body. And it can look brown or quite red on kind of pale skin and on darker skin, it can be harder to see. And measles is known for also you can get white spots inside the cheeks. Most of the deaths that we see from measles are related to complications from the measles. And that can include things like blindness, meningitis, encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain, severe diarrhea and dehydration, ear infections, and breathing problems, including pneumonia. Now these complications thankfully are rare, but people who have got lowered immune systems are more at risk, and that includes babies and pregnant women. Okay, so this all sounds super scary. So what can we do to prevent these cases of measles? Well, it's vaccination because Roald Dahl's daughter died the year before vaccinations were available. And if she'd have had her vaccination, she probably would have survived and lived a long life. So let's find out a bit more about the vaccination. The measles vaccination is given as part of the MMR vaccine, which is measles, mumps and rubella. And it's given in two courses to children before they start school. Anyone who's missed the MMR can catch up at any point. So whether an older child or an adult, or for example, starting university, you can always catch up. It's always better to have the MMR now, even if you think you might be too late, you're not. The standard MMR vaccine does include um, ingredients that are made from pork, but there is an alternative available. So if that's something you want to think about, then do ask. So we know this vaccination is effective but it does rely on a large proportion of the population having both doses of the vaccine. And there has been controversy about this MMR vaccine. Um, some years ago, a doctor called Andrew Wakefield suggested it was linked with autism and a lot of people were scared off having their children have the vaccination, which is understandable because that sounds scary. Um, but actually after years and years of research, this has been thoroughly debunked. So we know now that the MMR vaccine does not cause autism. In fact, the side effects are usually very mild, so you might get a bit of a sore arm, a bit of a high temperature. 
Um, so for most people, the vaccine is extremely safe and really does a good job of preventing measles and the complications of measles. Think of your immune system as like a superhero team. They just lack all the equipment they need. So the vaccine provides them with all the shields and the, and the tools they need to fight off measles. So that's what the vaccine does. It equips your body and helps your immune system fight it off. So in summary, measles cases are on the rise. It often is only a mild illness, but there can be very serious complications, including death. And the best thing to do is to prevent this altogether by having the MMR vaccination. And it does rely on all of us making sure we get this done to protect the community as a whole. I hope you found this really helpful. Do share with anyone else you think might be helpful and together we can stop measles in its tracks.